Okay, this is DIY project uh, two of three of them that I'm going to be doing. I, I did the bench test on the little three phase motor uh, the other day. This is going to be the next project. This is a vacuum pump and it was replaced and donated to this cause because everything about it's a little bit broken. The control board is messed up, the actual pump itself is messed up, and the motor is a little tired. We might have to have that rewound. We don't know yet. We're going to pull it out and find out. This video is just going to be getting the motor out and inspecting it and see what we've got. Okay, that wasn't near as exciting or involved as I thought it would be. I, I, I was sure I'd have to spend more effort taking this thing out, but it, it came out real easy. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell it has some problems. I don't know how much of that you guys can hear, but there's some grinding inside. I can hear it on both ends. Uh, it the 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 shaft spins and it it stays spinning for a long time but it, if you turn it real slow you can hear it like catching you can feel it grinding so at the very least the bearings are shot and that was probably one of the contributing factors to why this thing went down uh next video we're going to be taking this so apart taking a look on the inside and seeing what we need to do to mill the rotor out. Uh, th these are my favorite kinds of conversions. They're easy to do. These motors can be found pretty easily uh, and, and inexpensively. I think that they're a lot of fun. They don't require a whole lot of knowledge just to get some power out of it. Uh, they require a lot of effort and knowledge to get the most possible, but if you want to make a simple generator, this is the way to go. Alright guys, uh, please hit the subscribe button. You'll get notifications for whenever I, I, I post my next one. And uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching.